Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC for do everything DIY. Working on a water source heat pump and I came across this contactor that has pitted contacts. You always want to look out for that. And we're going to be replacing it with a new one. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So we're going to begin by turning off the power. Just took out the pull switch so the power is off. And from here, we're going to start disconnecting this contactor and replacing it with a new one. I'm just going to match it up with the same specs. This is a two-pole contactor with a 208-volt coil. Typically, what to look out for is behind these contacts here. You want to look at the contact, how it looks like behind. If you look behind, it has a whole bunch of black markings. They're pitted, and that must be changed for a good electrical connection. So, we got the power off. Here's the new contactor. You always want to have this cover on for safety. And what we're going to do is basically go wire for wire instead of just, you know, drawing out a diagram, seeing where each wire goes. You just take one wire off and then put the one wire on, just wire for wire, and you can't go wrong. But I do recommend taking a photo before and matching it up with your final product so you make sure that you don't cross up any wires. All right, so I'm gonna unmount it. I've got two quarter inch screws holding this up. I would like to have the new one in place and then go wire for wire. The top we're just gonna have to remember. So once I free these up, I can push this to the side Then we just go wire for wire. So the white is on the left. White goes to the left, and brown on the right. So once we have that, pull this to the side. And then I can mount my new one and then go wire for wire. And you can't go wrong. Got it mounted. These are in position. Slide that one in. Slide this one in. All right. All right. So from here, we just go wire for wire. So pull this off. it off the right side of the coil and what we're gonna do is put it on the right side of the coil make sure your connections are good everything's nice and snug if you have to replace them replace them these look pretty good and just pull off one wire and go one wire for wire So we got the coil done. Then we have the load side because that's the side that's gonna energize a component. In this case, is gonna be the compressor. And here's our line voltage coming in. It's gonna come in from the bottom. Then we have two other wires. One actually is connected to one side of this coil. And this other black wire goes somewhere on this control board. So let's go ahead start with the ones from the back and simply just go wire for wire all right got these connected and all I have left is my two line voltage wires you can see we have a ring connector 
and you would need a female connector to directly put it on so I'm just gonna cut this out strip the wire back and use this lug so strip it back loosen this up push that in gonna want these a little shorter so you don't have conductors sticking everywhere just like that and tighten it down and we're gonna do the same for the other side tighten it down make sure all your connections are tight and there you have it brand new contactor everything has good connections and that's pretty much it the idea here would be to just go wire for wire it can't go wrong and double check your connections and honestly just make sure your ratings are correct if you have a 208 volt coil you're going to want to use that 208 volt coil and that's pretty much it if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time